Hi, I'm Michelle, and this is Tough Shit. Unless you've been hiding under a rock for the past year, it's probably safe to assume you've heard something about the shockingly low numbers of women in STEM jobs. Women make up more than 50% of the labor force, but less than 25% of STEM jobs in some of the fastest growing industries in the country. The numbers are pretty pitiful. So we handled it like we do all modern problems. Held public Twitter executions, wrote Jezebel think pieces, and read a crap load of well-meaning but devastating articles that made us simultaneously depressed enough to eat an entire tub of Ben and & Jerry's and angry enough to listen to Shake It Off on repeat. The subject of women in STEM even made it all the way to the POTUS. And like any good feminist, he stepped up and created a STEM jobs task force to encourage diversity in the science, technology, engineering, and math pipelines. Problem solved, right? Well, before you change your major from liberal arts to computer science, there's something you should know. 41% of students graduating in STEM were already female, but 52% of women end up leaving the field. Wait. What? Lady math time. If the number of women leaving is greater than the number of women staying, that is statistically significant. There are higher retention rates for postal workers, and that's the job we use to exemplify soul-sucking jobs. So why the mass exodus? Well, it turns out the fields dominated by men for generations are having some issues making women feel welcome. We've had some shining examples this year, from the Nobel laureate who claimed that the mere presence of women turned labs from tepid workplaces to Temptation Island, to the astrophysicist who wore a Naked Lady t-shirt to announce the landing of the NASA space probe. These guys are such absolute zeros, they can only be measured on the Kelvin scale. One study interviewed 716 women who left tech after an average tenure of seven years, and across the board their feedback was the same. Good work, bad environment. Another study found that of 5,300 women who earned degrees in engineering, 38% were no longer working in the field for the same reason. It turns out America's refusal to deal with climate change isn't only affecting the polar bears. Women in tech have cited a range of problematic issues. When Twitter was sued this year for gender discrimination in the workplace, they dealt with the issue head on by throwing a frat-themed office party complete with beer pong and a kegerator. Just a tip, Twitter. If you're trying to pretend to be women-friendly, maybe don't make the office look and smell like the place of their first sexual assault. In some offices, the Dude Broathon starts day one, with companies offering signing perks for new hires, like the experience of being James Bond for a day? Ooh, how exciting and professional. Let's see, now which Bond girl should I be? Pussy galore, plenty of tool, maybe Holly Goodhead. How will I pick just one? But even women who were willing to bro down with the boys club didn't fare much better. Almost every woman surveyed cited a lack of support in their current roles and no room for advancement in leadership positions. The most troubling study by Karen Snyder of Fortune magazine looked at the performance reviews of tech employees and found that while men received constructive feedback, women's feedback focused on comments that were overly personal, often superficial, and riddled with gender bias. Negative personality criticisms like watch your tone, step back, and stop being so judgmental showed up in 71 of the 94 for assessments received by women, but only twice in the critical reviews received by men. You might say the leadership has a hard-on for being hard on women. So basically it's just like Tinder, yeah. but when the girl swipes left, the app kind of bothers her until she gives the guy another chance because, you know, she didn't even know the guy didn't give him a chance. That's yeah. genius. Oh. Hey, Hi, come on in. Veronica, please take a seat. Thank you so much for joining us today. Of course. We've been made aware by our HR department rep. Uh, Debbie. You know Debbie downstairs. Debbie. Yeah. <laughs> She's always coming upstairs. <laughs> <laughs> I wish she'd stay downstairs. Uh, so she told us that we don't have any women represented in upper management here at Technic. <sighs> Where are my girls at? <laughs> From the front to back. Are you feeling that? Oh. We want to remedy that yep. right mm -hmm. now yeah. with you. Excellent. So today we're going to be doing a constructive performance review. Just think of this feedback as your first step up the corporate ladder. Okay, great. Thank you. Veronica, you're a solid employee. I mean, you're always punctual, relatively well-liked. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but we do see some room for improvement. Just... Oh, okay. We want you to really take charge, okay? Be a leader. Absolutely. But don't be too aggressive, because sometimes you can be a little... 
We want you to get your voice out there, okay? Be heard. Yes, I'll definitely- But know when to be quiet. It's not the Veronica show. Uh, do you mean when I'm speaking? <laughs> oh. Own your work. Be confident. But don't be a know-it-all. Nobody likes a know-it-all. So are there any specifics I should be working on? I'm so glad you asked that. See, that's the go-getter I'm talking about right there. Your voice is very high and shrill. It's bad. Yeah. Bring it down around this level here. Sultry, soft, silent-ish. I can try that. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. Yeah. Now you kind of sound like Terry Gross. And that's very gross. Right. Mm -hmm. Oh, and that. You smile a lot. Oh, is that a bad thing? It's just that it can be hard to take you seriously when you kind of sound like this and you're smiling everywhere and you're fluttering your This is you! This is you! And you're back and forth all over the place, you know? I don't think I... Now you're going the other way with it and you're kind of doing a bitch face. Yeah. Whoa, careful. Remember, we don't play a bitch face. Oh, right, but I put it in quotes, so it's okay if I said it. When you do that, it doesn't come off as derogatory. Yeah, so you know, just don't do the bitch face and, you know, try to be less cunty. Yeah. So moving on, um, oh, oh, well, you just look uncomfortable now. Hey, Veronica, just be yourself. But also be more like the other ladies in the office. Yeah. If you haven't noticed, here at Technic, our IT girls, they double as it girls. We're all about fashion, okay? We want you to be a 21st century gal, all right? We got those librarian glasses you love so much. Now you have a body, right? It's 2016, we get it. Women have bodies, they shouldn't be ashamed of it. No one's trying to take away your body, all right? But you know, you're showing your curves off because you're a lady. There you go, you know, if you wanna be slim, be slim. You wanna be bigger, let's be, be slim. slim. You know, you got an iPhone right here, and that says, I'm smart. When someone passes by and they says, oh, that lady's attractive, but she's got, you know, a device, and she's figuring it out. Well, look at that, which, she was one of my friends, you know, and pants, wear pants or dresses, you know, they can be tight. Sure, they can be tight. You wanna wear garters, maybe keep your pens down in the garters. Yeah. Look, and then always, you know, have your makeup in the other hand. So what we're saying is, you know, feel free to be smart and sexy. Honey, come on now, let's not get sensitive, okay? <laughs> I'm sorry. Don't apologize, okay? That's a weakness. I'm sorry. Uh Never say you're sorry. It's easy. If you want to get ahead in business, you got to work hard. But don't make it look like you're working hard. Be a go-getter. But don't be ambitious. Be tough. But likable. Not too likable. Easy. But enough from us. Right. We want to hear from you. Okay. And use this opportunity to work on that directness we were talking about. Yeah. Okay, yes. I have been working here for a, a year now, and I... Uh, right there. I'd like to discuss a race. <laughs> okay. Stop the brakes there. <laughs> okay. Yeah, all right, let's wrap it up, Jennifer uh, Lawrence. Oh, uh, but you said to be direct and ask for what I want? We sure did. Yeah. Great listening skills. Came off a little like, pushy. Pushy? Yeah. Pushy. pushy, yeah. Well, how could I do it better? Well, we're not here to tell you how to do your job, right? <laughs> you want a couple of men coming in here and tell you how to do your job? <laughs> Please, can I discuss a 10% raise? Now it sounds naggy. Yeah. Because you asked the same question twice. The please kind of sounded like my wife, right? Oh. Please come home. Your She's kids haven't best. seen you in three days. Please. <laughs> Yo, fuck sticks. We're getting lunch at Shakey's. Are you in or out? Yeah, we're in. Shakey's. Yeah. Now see, that guy has got upper management written all over him. So cool. Yeah. Oh. You should channel your inner gel. Okay. Great. Thank you very much for your feedback. You fuck sticks. Fuck sticks? Nope. Guys, no. That's not what I... Talk to each other and then talk to Debbie. <sighs> Downstairs. Come back upstairs. Much like climate change in nature, changing the climate of an office requires acknowledging the problem and then taking steps to fix it before it wreaks havoc on the lives of all those little girls headed down the STEM pipeline. Just follow these helpful tips for employing and empowering women. Make your office gender neutral, like David Bowie or Converse sneakers. Don't subject women to a manscape. That means no frat parties, sexist jokes, creepy emails, or t-shirts with more naked ladies than a strip club. Also, no office trips to the strip club. Bummer, I know. In fact, the only professional application of titties in the workplace 
is this little guy? In performance reviews, replace terms like strident, abrasive, or aggressive with words like leadership, motivated, and powerful. Then get those women some kick-ass mentors and someday they'll be running the place. Keep critiques professional. Things like a woman's voice, clothes, or how much she smiles aren't open for discussion because she's a human being and not a Build-A-Bear. Her personality is not Burger King and you do not get to have it your way. So what's the silver lining to this shit storm of bad news? It wasn't so long ago that women weren't represented in any of these fields, unless we were bringing a man his whiskey or typing love letters to his mistress. To quote modern philosopher and lover of the ladies Drake, you might say we started from the bottom, now we're here and here and here. Now we need to make some adjustments so our workplace is ready for when the whole team's f***ing here. That's our show. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any tough topics you'd like us to tackle, let us know down below or tweet at us. We'll see you next week.